This video is sponsored by Daily Harvest. Good morning, loves. Welcome back to my channel. So it is day seven of quarantine and I thought it might be kind of fun to shoot a day in my life quarantine edition since we're all trapped in our homes together and probably just on social media. Well, if the rest of you are like me, then you're spending your entire days on social media. It's fabulous. So yes, I'm gonna film a day in my life quarantine edition gonna be really fun. I was completely fine with the quarantine life until yesterday and then I got a little stir crazy and I got a little bored. I got a little short tempered. It wasn't good but we're gonna try to get back to that positive attitude today. It's 8 18. Usually I wake up at 7 but I was up until 4 a.m. watching TikToks. I'm a savage. Yeah. Yes, I'm a little ashamed. I'm incredibly tired, so a nap might be in my future, but for now, I'm gonna go put some eye drops in my eyes and drink some caffeine and we should be fine. Welcome to my life in quarantine. Very first thing I do when I wake up is I take out my Invisalign and then I use this little tongue scraper. You wake up with a lot of bacteria in your tongue and it's just like gross stuff. You just wanna scrape it off because you do not wanna be drinking that it's disgusting but i'm not gonna show you guys because it's really not that cute i'm just gonna brush my teeth i'm using the quick toothbrush i've been using that since christmas because i got it as a christmas present my favorite toothpaste i didn't discover this until like a couple of months ago uh, i like the winter mint whole care it's my go-to and I have two of these babies. These are my favorite. I used to take the beauty ones and then thought that they're taking the uh women's multi would just be better and they taste so good. And then I take two of these. They're Ritual Vitamins, essential for women. And so far, I really like Ritual. And then, because it's just super unfortunate, I'm like kind of a little bit allergic to Barnaby. So I have to take all day allergy. I'm gonna wash my face with Clay de Pay Clarifying Cleansing Foam. This is my absolute favorite face wash on the whole entire planet. Which I guess I shouldn't say that because I know there's lots of face washes out there for me to try and I will eventually try but right now this is my one true love and it has not steered me wrong for probably two years I want to say. You only need a tiny little bit and then you get so much out of that. It cleans my skin well, it leaves it feeling super like soft and moisturized and it does make me break out amazing. The water has to heat up. See I'm only using that much which is a tiny bit. Look at that, so much. So I'm gonna go downstairs and put eye patches on. I keep them in the fridge to keep them nice and cool. My eye bags are so bad and so dark right now. And I'm gonna roll my face with my jade roller to just like wake my skin up. It feels really nice. And like I said, I didn't get much sleep at all last night. And my eyes are feeling super dry. They look red. They just look like they need some help. So I'm gonna use some eye drops, which just kind of like whiten the eyes and hopefully put some moisture in there because it's so dry. By the way, my hair looks so tragic because I've had a hair mask in since Sunday. No, since Saturday evening and it's Tuesday morning. So I'm thinking I'm gonna wash it out today. We're just really getting the most out of the hair mask right now. So I'm just gonna throw on the only jewelry I brought. I'm really upset with myself. I didn't pack any jewelry. So I was like, I'm going to sit inside my house in quarantine. But like, I'm such a jewelry person. It really makes me feel like more ready for the day. But at least I wore these on the plane. So there's something to put on every day. They're from five and two. The second one says C, it's my little initial. This one's, this one's from somewhere else. But the other three are from five and two. They have little stars on it, which I love. My eyes are already feeling a lot better, see? And then this one has the little dangling moon, but I can't sleep in jewelry because if I wear earrings to bed, then I wake up with my ears bleeding. So this is the little cozy outfit I picked out for the day. Some days I wear jeans and dress up a little bit more just to make myself feel presentable. And then other days I wear my cute, coordinated, and comfy outfit. So I feel good about myself, but I'm still pretty comfortable. So this may or may not be the second day in a row that I'm wearing this outfit. But I feel like it's fine. It's quarantine things, you know? So I get a pass, right? So I'm kind of hungry and my mom isn't ready to make us food yet for a while. So I thought I would just go ahead and make myself some food. So I wanted to tell you guys about Daily Harvest. I was gonna make a little harvest bowl and a smoothie. They both sound so good. This is sweet potato and wild rice hash, and this is strawberry and peach. Yum. A couple of reasons why I love Daily Harvest. So you guys know that I just moved out of my parents' house recently, but I'm back because of quarantine. I moved out, so... <laughs> 
Any sort of help in the food department is very needed. I am not a very good cook. I don't know how to cook. I'm just not a chef. So like I wasn't really eating a lot. Daily Harvest is incredible because it's super convenient. I mean, it shows up right at your doorstep. You don't even have to walk anywhere, which I'm a fan of. Which says how lazy I am, but when things can just show up to my doorstep, I'm all in. It's customizable so you can make your box your own, which is so perfect for me because I'm a picky eater, which is why I have a really hard time doing these like food delivery services. But Daily Harvest is perfect because like I said, you can customize it to your needs and your wants. I can be picky and still have food delivered right to my door. It's fast, it's easy, it's ready in one step in less than five minutes, which is really great for me personally because I don't like to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I don't enjoy cooking that much, so having it be something that's really good for you, that tastes yummy, but it like doesn't take long at all to make, is incredible. So you can see all of the ingredients on the side of the cup. So in the harvest bowl, we have sweet potato and wild rice hash. This is tomato, sweet potato, wild rice, green northern bean, avocado, red bell pepper, nutritional yeast, Okay, so there's really one step. If I wanna cook it on the stove, I put it into a pan and then stir for like four to six minutes and then it's done. That's incredible. And then for the smoothie, there's strawberry, peach, raspberry, banana, oats, flaxseed, and goji berry. So Daily Harvest is clean and plant-based. They have top quality fruits and veggies, which is really, really nice. This sounds so silly, but it's important to one day understand like fully comprehend what you put in your body. It's like your body has to digest and process and when you're putting these processed packaged foods in there like fast food it's not gonna do good things for your body like it's just horrible for you so when you're putting like top quality fruits and veggies your body's gonna be loving you i feel so much better mentally physically emotionally when i'm eating well so it's just better to do that. So you can store it in your freezer, not your fridge. Ingredients are pulled at their peak and frozen, so there's no risk of spoilage or anything. If you're like me and have absolutely nothing in your freezer, then Daily Harvest just takes up your entire freezer and that's it, and you barely have anything in your fridge. They have dietary flexibility, which is really important because everyone has different diet restrictions nowadays. Gluten-free, keto, paleo, everything. They have really unique recipes, which like everyone and their mother will love, especially picky eaters like me and they have a variety they have a recipe for every time of day you can eat it for breakfast lunch dinner you can eat it for a little snack whatever you're feeling they are delicious and all recipes are crafted by a chef so it's equal parts delicious and nutrient rich i need to do something that's somewhat better hey we're in quarantine and no one has to look good right now so i don't <laughs> So you can build your own box. You can choose any combination of delicious, nutrient-rich foods. They're developed by a nutritionist and then made super yummy by a chef. This is like the ultimate win-win. You're getting all the nutrients you need and it's super yummy. Like that is my problem with healthy food is that it doesn't taste good. It's the bad food that tastes good, but not Daily Harvest. Daily Harvest is healthy for you and it tastes so good. Like, this is literally all I want. All you have to do is check your doorstep and all of your pre-portioned cups will arrive and you can just pop them into your freezer and then they're ready to use whenever. You can throw them on the stove. If it's a harvest bowl, you can throw them in the blender if it's for a smoothie. So you can enjoy it in seconds. Just add a liquid base and it's ready to go. Literally no mess, no fuss, no cooking time. It's perfect. Okay, so I am really craving strawberries right now, so I decided I'm gonna have a strawberry and peach smoothie. I think I'm gonna use almond milk. So I got my almond milk, I got my blender right here. Fill your cup to the top with liquid and toss it all into a blender. Okay, perfection. Okay, so I can see the strawberries, I can see the peach, oats, the raspberry, the flaxseed, I can literally see it all. The first step is choose your liquid base. We go with a creamy option like almond milk. Poured almond milk in there. And it says fill a cup to top with the liquid and toss it all into a blender. Did that. Blend and pour everything back into your cup. You're set. Now well, I guess I just have to blend it. It looks so yummy. It's so creamy. Here is the final product. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. Here we go. Mmm, that is so yummy. It's really fresh. It tastes so good. It's gonna be my new obsession for a while. This particular taste, I mean. 
Okay, so I'm dressed for the day. I got my cute little socks on from Target. This is what I'll wear for now. If things go according to plan, I will be working out after my second college class. And then I'm gonna shower and like actually get ready. So hopefully that happens and then I'll be changing again. But if not, this is a cute outfit for the entire day. Last step is perfume and deodorant. So I've been looking for like an all natural deodorant. Haven't found one that I like or that works yet. So if you have any recommendations, please DM me or text me. Side note, if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, you can find out here that I got a new phone with a new phone number. You guys can text me. Here it is. Please text me. Let's chat. I want to talk to you guys. This is a rough time. I mean, I've been wanting to like find a way to chat with you on a more personal level. It'll be fun. So you can text me your all natural deodorant. And then I use Lilabo. It's called the Noir. One of my favorite scents. So this and Chanel. Those two are my favorites. That one's definitely a lot fresher. This one's more like muskier, a little bit more masculine, but it smells so yummy. And I get compliments on both smells all the time, which is actually something that's super important to me, like smelling good. I feel like it says a lot about you. Thankfully, a lot of people always tell me I smell good. They're like, you always smell so good, Chloe. I'm like, thank you. You have no idea how important that is to me. <laughs> anyway, you can tell that I'm going crazy on quarantine because I'm ranting about smelling good. Good morning, family! Guess when I went to sleep? Four. Well, first, yes, correct. First, guess why? Why? So I was watching TikTok. <laughs> Boom! Are you making me something? You want some? I'm making mint peach combo tea. No, I think I want that grapefruit tea. Don't give me the tap water. Actually, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I'm making my own! Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so these are the eye patches that I'm in love with. They're Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I've tried a lot of different eye gels and they all like work fine, but there's always a lot of residue. These work wonders. Stick them in the fridge. And they feel so good and I really like that they start to itch once they've like done their thing because I always leave things on too long hence my <laughs> Three-day-old hair mask, but these itch when they're ready to come off. So that's they nice. itch? Yeah, your eyes start to itch when they're like done working their magic. Oh, oh that feels so good There we go First two things I drink every single morning. I chug this and then I enjoy like three of these. <gasps> it's a rat! Mom, why do you have a rat in your kitchen? I clean my kitchen, I suppose. Say hi, say hello, say hello to the YouTube world. My name is Bubba and I'm a rat. So can I make breakfast or will you rage since you're making breakfast? Let me just finish. <laughs> because you're making breakfast isn't like, oh, let me come in here. It's like mass chaos. No. Yeah. No, incorrect. <laughs> no. <laughs> Accurate. I'm making eggs and bacon. And I got some grapes because I'm hungry and I'm munching on them. So my breakfast is made. It's 9.22. I'm gonna sit for like 15 minutes, eat and read, and then I have to do work for all of my classes today. I'm almost done with my lemon water. So I finished both my classes, both my English 101 and my first year seminar class. I finished a while ago and then I forgot to vlog because we got the Wii out and now we're playing Wii. It's so much fun. We just played Super Mario Bros and now I'm about to play Mario Kart. And then this is like the perfect solution to quarantine boredom. Bean, have you ever played the Wii? Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> We're on our walk. I just ran for the first time in like three months with big clunky rain boots. That was so difficult, but I think we got like two and a half miles in-ish today. Feels good. The heart is racing. The fresh air feels good on my skin. And I think I might go for a run tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Just to clarify, I did not run the whole two and a half miles. We walked for like two and a half miles and I ran 
200 feet. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But that was tough. <laughs> Way tougher than I'd like to admit. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? Come on. Come on, Barnaby. Dad, did you have a good walk? Are you recording? Yeah. Turn off. Hello, everybody. Hi. What are you doing? I'm trying to clock per use. How was your day? Uh, Happy by that look, I'm guessing. It was fine. Beans, bro. Hello. Oh, okay, so we are back from the walk. I changed and I'm about to do an at home workout. This is the first time I've done an actual fitness class in about three months, I think. I'm excited. I'm using this app called The Sculpt Society. Never tried it before. I've never really tried an app workout before. So we'll see how it goes. Quite clearly, that was pretty rough. <laughs> I was really thirsty. My nightly calm tea. I have this tea every single night. It gets me like in the mood to go to bed. So it is 7.45. My day is pretty much over. Luckily, I don't have any classes tomorrow. So I don't have any reason to like stay up late and work on assignments. So all I'm gonna do is get ready for bed and then I think I'm just gonna go to sleep. That is pretty much what I'm doing during the day. There was a chunk of time where I laid on my couch and watched TikToks for like an hour that I didn't film because I don't want that documented. Yeah, it changes every day. Some days I'm really productive other days I legit am a waste of skin. I'm just doing what I can during this really weird time. I hope you enjoyed seeing this day in the life video. Let me know if you want to see like another daily vlog during this quarantine time. I really enjoy vlogging and I'm thinking of turning my channel more into like a vlogging type channel because that's just what I'm more interested in. That seems to work better for me so I think I might veer towards those videos again. We'll see. So I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I'm thinking of all of you and keeping you in my positive thoughts. So yeah, I'll see you next week. I love you all. Bye!